Hello everyone, Zian over here from Nintendo Life, and I'm back at PAX with Austin again. Hi. We're here playing a bunch of Switch games, obviously on the show floor. Uh, this latest one that we played is a remake of a classic GameCube game. One near and dear to both of our hearts. We played it a lot as kids. Uh, what game was this, Austin? This was Story of Seasons, A Wonderful Life. Some of you may recognize it as Harvest Moon, A Wonderful Life. If you're familiar with that background, those games are now called Story of Seasons. And in other countries, they were called Story of Seasons as well in the past. Yeah, some point, right, they made the switch to... Yeah, the companies kind of drifted apart. There's a whole story there. But um, the, the OG Harvest Moon is Story of Seasons. Really, it, very true to the original. Um, it was exciting. Yeah, like you and I were just talking about this earlier, but like when these games originally released on GameCube, uh, and then there was a PlayStation 2 one. Uh, they released with like, there was the, the version where you could play as a guy, right. and then the version where you could play as a girl, and like the marriage yeah. candidates were different. And yeah. I, I didn't play that one much. Um, yes. But so I guess maybe we can't compare ourselves to like what was different there. Right. But but now with this one, it seems like you just, like with most Story of Seasons games now, you just get to pick right off the bat, like yes. what character you are. There's not like a Pokemon Red Blue Bird right. game. Right. Well, and so speaking of the character, there's sure, even sure. a non-binary option in the game, which I find awesome because yeah. I feel like, especially growing up in the 90s and playing games, so many games that I loved, either you could just be a boy or it was just a boy or girl. And now it's 2023, we're just yeah. allowing everyone to be able to choose their identity and play as themselves. Yeah. Just figuring it out. It's yep. good. Yeah, it's really cool. So one thing that I just went back the other day and played a little bit of the original Another Wonderful Life, so the one where you play as a girl. Yeah. And the graphics, like I felt really cozy and comfy while I was playing it. It felt like even though I played the one, the a regular Wonderful Life, it uh, just like the world is very, um, it's very like, tiny but like very detailed still um but the thing i didn't notice was how like kind of drab and like yes. like dusty almost the original the colors the contrast yeah. the it, it was it's a little bit darker um yeah. yeah maybe they were trying to go for like a realistic look Probably. back then i guess Probably. but now that's not the case like with this new remake yeah it's beautiful um they really upped the saturation but in a beautiful way um i think sometimes when games get remade it can look a little cartoony, um, and they're just throwing crazy colors in there, and it doesn't feel original. Um, this still feels very true to the original game and gives you that same feeling and nostalgia, but it's so much more gorgeous to look at. It's really done well, and there weren't any issues that we could see with pop-in or lag times. Frame rates look great, so it yeah, was beautiful. That's a good point, too, because we were playing. This was the Switch build of the yeah. game as well, which is nice, because, yeah. you know, like, that's not always the case. Sometimes we end up playing PC or PS4, but this was the Switch version. So it was great. Was cool. It ran well. Um, obviously, we only got to play a little bit of it, but I'm really excited. I can't wait to get my hands on it. And yeah. I think um, some of the more recent Story of Seasons games maybe haven't been done quite as well as this one. This one has been done very well. It looks very polished from what we could see. Yeah. So these days, there are a lot of games like getting remade and remastered all yep. the time. And it's nice to see that this is, it really feels like a remake. Like everything yes. is being rebuilt. Yes. But still like like the the town the layout seems the same uh like even like i noticed the you, there are like tricks or like interactions that you can have with your dog those you can like you can pet like, the dog them. you can you yeah. can pet the For dogs mm -hmm. but it, it seems like like you said earlier it feels very faithful but they also still like went and redid all of like the character designs for like all of the npcs yep all the like, animals they're lot, yeah they're the same animals but they're gonna look better some of the like and I mean, this is no offense, but some of the marriage candidates got facelifts as well. I'm talking about like the guys I thought were like atrocious in the original A Wonderful Life. I, uh, uh, I just, yeah, I wouldn't have, uh, not a fan, but I think I feel different now. Yeah, they are all candidates. Yep. Yeah. And of course, there are multiple save file slots, just like in the other oh, games. Yeah. So you can marry all of them. That's something we didn't ask actually, was if there were like uh, same sex marriages in this game either. Yes. Oh, do, do they? Do they have that? I am almost positive. Okay. Yep, um, I believe. Well, we didn't get to play enough to be able to confirm, sure. but... Yeah, we didn't get married actually in the game yet. We didn't have enough time at PAX to That's get that far. Yeah. Oh, but you can watch TV again. They brought the TV oh, back. Yeah, that was one of my TV. favorite parts. I remember when I was younger, playing Harvest Moon Story of Seasons games and watching the different TV channels like The Fortune Teller and The Weather. It's back and it's actually TV. You get to zoom in and watch TV. Speaking of zooming in, they oh, also have yeah. a camera mode. Uh, really cool. In the original Wonderful Life game, you could kind of zoom in and look at things close up. But in this version, it appeared from what we could see that you can use camera mode, photo mode, and take photos of things close up. And when you look at the detail, 
That's one of my favorite things is zooming in on the detail. Yeah, like the character models looked really nice. Like we saw somebody else was playing and they were like having, they were in a cutscene or something like that. Yeah, they were taking some nice portraits. It looked nice. Like, yeah, yeah, just the the flow of everything and the, the framing, it was this, like if you, I think it's very fair to say so far, obviously we're excited for this. We haven't we haven't played it all yet because we're we're at an event, you know, we can't play play it all. But it seems like if you just want that classic Harvest Moon Story of Seasons yeah. feeling out of a game, that this this seems like this seems like it. Well, and from what I've seen in recent Story of Seasons games, um, they're very faithful and they do have all of the simulation elements that people really enjoy. But I personally have a lot of nostalgia around Story of Seasons Harvest Moon games, and um, sometimes that heartfeltness, that love, isn't always there in the newer games. This game definitely had that element where it made me nostalgic, it made me feel comfy is a great word for it. When I was playing it, it kind of put me back into my childhood. Um, I think you're right though. I think there's probably a bit, like you said, there's a bit of nostalgia in there, but also, yeah, I do think that this game just they, they really got the design yeah. and the, 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 the environment in the world like they nailed that down where you know other games I mean they make so many oh yeah um, and they're all great but they might all be great but they're not all wonderful yeah there you go so story of seasons a wonderful life is set to release this summer 2023 um, and we're really excited it's gonna be a crazy summer yeah. a lot of fun games coming out so not too long to wait Sweet. And while you wait for Story of Seasons, uh, A Wonderful Life to release, why don't you let us know in the comments down below what you think of the game so far, what you've seen. Let us know if you played it back in the day or if you've heard great things and this is gonna be finally the first time for you to be able to check it out. And of course, if you enjoyed this video and you wanna see more videos like this, then why don't you remake that subscribe button in a very colorful and uh, and, and fun fashion. Uh, and then uh, ring that notification or bell. Or just click notified. it. Yeah, yeah, I guess you could just click it, that's true. Thank you all so much for watching. Thank you, Austin, for hanging out. Thank you for having me. Of course. Stay safe out there, and we will see you all next time. Felix, we have an appointment.